What's going on guys, Duelum here, back again with another video. Today, we're gonna be talking about Gear 18, but not for Dark Dimension. We're gonna be talking about who do you take to Gear 18 after you finish with Dark Dimension and after you've gotten your big boy Super Scroll. What are the priorities and how do the priorities change depending on what game modes you like to focus on the most? So if you're ready, let's get into it. Before I get into my recommendations, I wanted to get into the list of characters that I took into Dark Dimension 6. For Global, I took in Apocalypse, Quicksilver, Peggy, Black Widow, and Agent Venom. As of right now, I wouldn't recommend Agent Venom and Captain Carter because they're on the way out of the meta, especially in raids. For Cosmic, I took Stitcher because he's just a placeholder until the time to run for Super Scroll. Kang, Vol, Photon, Kestrel are all shoe ins for Cosmic. For City, this is where a lot of people differ. I took 2099. Big Time, Firestar, Robbie, and Ms. Marvel Hardlight. For non-horseman legendary, I took Doc Ock. He just got a rework, and he's going to be on that new Superior 6 team. Black Cat was a guarantee from the beginning. Same with Nova. I have an excess of skill gear, so I'm going to be taking in Nick Fury, and then I'll be taking in Omega Red because of his percent damage. And we all know Apocalypse is coming into the legendary or Apocalypse section, dropping our least favorite tune from the legendary section and honestly i'm not sure if that's going to be fury or doc ock once doc ock gets his rework or his stats and it's in game it could be a toss-up on who's more important but i've heard nick fury and his minions are a great addition to any dark dimension team quicksilver is one of those tunes that's going to be a great pick for dark dimension but he's also going to be great in a lot of plug and play scenarios he's great in arena in some instances war and Cosmic Crucible. He's a great plug and play character that's gonna give you a lot of value. G18 is great on him, but I feel like if you haven't done it yet, you should be pumping the brakes unless you have a lot of Mystic gear. I feel like he's gonna start leaving the meta because his damage just up isn't up to par with a lot of the other tunes in the game, and G18 is extremely rare right now. But if you have a little extra and you're not looking to take any other Mystic tunes that I'm gonna have on my list, then go for it with Quicksilver. Next up, we're talking about Spider Weaver, another Mystic who I actually think holds higher priority over Quicksilver. Spider Weaver is going to be a powerhouse in Cosmic Crucible and War with that charge mechanic that makes everyone miss except for new warriors on Cosmic Crucible. Combined with 2099, this is going to be one of the best duos in the game for Cosmic Crucible. The only other duo that comes to mind that's as good is going to be the Eternals, but their stats are starting to drop a little bit. Next, we're going to be talking about another Mystic, and that is Icarus. He's going to be third on my list in Mystics to take up to G18 just because his stats are starting to fall off in the current meta because he's so old. But him, paired with Cersei, is always going to be a great combo. The reason why you'd want to take him to G18 is it's going to bolster some of his damage issues and make sure you get the double taps in modes like Cosmic Crucible and War. The last two Mystics I want to talk about are going to be Dormammu and Doom. I'm coupling these two together because the reason why they are still good in the meta is the same exact reason, and that's because of their kit. Dormammu's ultimate takes any tune with the highest damage for three turns in a row. If you're taking someone like Quicksilver, who's going to take eight or nine turns because he goes back to back or spider weaver who's going to take a bunch of turns and has perma kills that always makes doom super good but you don't need him at gear 18 for him to be able to use his ultimate the only argument i could see is if gear 18 is making him survive a little bit better in the current meta but i don't think that's needed as of right now Next is going to be Dormammu, and he's going to be the exact same reason. His kit is incredible. He's got that charge mechanic that flips positive buffs. He also has that ultimate that's going to heal everybody, but you don't need him big to be able to do those things. Dormammu is no longer there to do damage. He's going to be there to support the bigger damage dealers that are coming out in the game now. Next up, we're going to be talking about bio characters. First up is going to be Green Goblin on your screen, but I'm really talking about Lizard that is going to be coming on the new Superior 6 team. He's going to be an incredible tank that's going to be a great duo with the new Green Goblin Classic that's going to be coming out in the game, and he is more than worthy of your G18 gear, since there are not that many other bio characters that are worthy of it that are in the game right now. The only other bio character that I feel is worthy of G18 that's currently in the game is going to be Tigra. Tigra is only going to take two unique pieces to get her up to G18. She's going to be the tank for the new Avengers team, but she's also an incredible damage dealer. She's also going to be dodging a bunch, so you're not even going to get to that massive health pool for a while until you rip through all of those dodges. She's going to be a focal point for the new Avengers team in war. She's also going to be incredible in the new trial that's going to unlock Green Goblin for the new Superior 16. Next up, we're going to be talking about mutant characters. We all took Apocalypse to Global for Dark Dimension, so the only other tune that I feel like is worth taking up to G18, and this is really, really on the fence, I had to stretch to find a one that I found worth it, is Gambit. 
Gambit's going to be the main damage dealer on the Unlimited X-Men team. And this is really going to hinge on if the Unlimited X-Men team is important in the next Cosmic Crucible season. If they're not, I wouldn't recommend taking any mutants to G18 right now because I have a feeling we're going to get an influx of mutant characters coming to the game soon. And you want to have a lot of Gear 18 ready for all of the new tunes coming out. Kicking off the skill section of this video is going to be Ronin. Ronin is going to take three sets of uniques. His unique is Osmium, which shares with Vol and also Nova. He is going to be a pretty good damage dealer for the new Avengers team. He's also going to be great in the new trial that's going to unlock Green Goblin. I do recommend taking him up because there's not too many other skill tunes that you want to take up once you're done with Dark Dimension. So he's going to be a great choice. The second skill tune that we're going to be talking about is going to be Mockingbird. Mockingbird is going to be the healer for the new Avengers, so you know she's going to be great in war. And as I've said before, she's going to be great in that trial to unlock Green Goblin. She heals a bunch. She also does a decent amount of damage. And when you get her to G18, her health pool is going to be massive, so you're not going to have to worry about her dying and then the team not being able to stay alive because their healer's dead. Last, but certainly not least, is going to be Kestrel. Kestrel is a mix between tech and skill, so she's going to be two pieces of tech and one piece of skill. She also takes shield tech as her unique. This character is going to be absolutely imperative to any roster. If you didn't take Kestrel to Dark Dimension 6 Cosmic for whatever reason, this should be your first tune that you take to G18 after you're done with Dark Dimension. Kestrel is an absolute monster in Cosmic Crucible, turning losing fights into a 1v5 win for Kestrel. She's also part of an amazing new counter with Nova, Emma, and the Tangled Web members taking out Quicksilver Darkhold in room 6 handedly without even having to use Doom. Kicking off the tech section is going to be Green Goblin. Once again, not the Green Goblin on your screen. It's going to be the new one that's coming into the game, Green Goblin Classic. He is going to be the linchpin of the Superior Six team. He's going to be incredible in Cosmic Crucible, and he might have some viability as a plug-and-play tune in some other game modes, but that's yet to be seen. The best part about Green Goblin Classic, he's tech, and he's only three pieces, so he's extremely cheap since there are not many tech teams in the game that you want to take up right now. Next on the list is going to be Doc Ock. Doc Ock finally got the rework that we've all been hoping for for the last two or three years. He is going to be part of the new Superior Six team, and he's going to be helping out Green Goblin and friends be masters of Cosmic Crucible. Doc Ock is going to be extremely expensive taking all five pieces of tech to take to Gear 218, but I think he's going to be worth it. He provides amazing buffs for the Superior Six team, but he can't provide those buffs if he's dead. When he's alive and has a massive health pool at G18, he's going to be providing some amazing benefits to that team that makes them thrive and take out almost everybody in Cosmic Crucible, maybe even Super Scroll. I also want to give a shout out to Spider Slayer. I think he's also going to be a great tune to take to G18. I don't know too much about him right now, but he's also tech. And let's face it, there's not many other tech options to take up other than Doc Ock, Green Goblin, and Kang. That's going to be the end of this one, guys. If you think I missed anybody for any of the origins, let me know down in the comment section below. I feel like I got a pretty good grasp on it. The problem is, I feel like it's going to be a good thing to hoard and wait for newer tunes that come out so you can take them to G18 immediately, because obviously those are going to be the top of the meta right when they come out. Big shout out to Most Def Isley for the video idea, but until next time, this has been Duelum. Thanks again. Later, y'all.